You're listening to the Democratic Voice of Burma. This is DVB English News. I'm Joe. In this week's briefing, Regional Bloc discusses Myanmar crisis at summit. Former Thai diplomat calls for ASEAN engagement with the NUG. The UN ambassador's mandate is deferred for another year. Plus, a report on how record flooding in Chiang Mai, Thailand impacted the Myanmar community. Foreign ministers and delegates from the Association of Southeast Asian Nations gathered in Vientiane, Laos on Wednesday. They discussed Myanmar's crisis, as well as other regional issues. The military regime sent its Ministry of Foreign Affairs Permanent Secretary, Aung Jaw Mo, to the meeting. Violence continues to escalate since regime leader Min Online agreed to the ASEAN Five Point Consensus in 2021. This calls for an immediate end to violence, and for all sides to engage in dialogue. Officials from China, the US, and Russia also attended the ASEAN summit. US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, called for greater pressure to be placed on Napidal. One of Thailand's former foreign ministers, Kasi Peromia, criticized ASEAN as it held its foreign ministers meeting in Laos on Tuesday. He said that ASEAN must engage with all sides, including the civilian-led national unity government. There has been reluctance on the part of the ASEAN leadership to speak to the democratic forces of Myanmar as represented by the NUG. What, what, what's wrong not to talk to the NUG when everyone has been talking to the military junta? So this, there has been a sort of an or unbalanced approach and that gives a lot of leeway to General Min Ong Lai to do whatever he likes and to ignore together the ASEAN five-point consensus. It's a disgrace. That was Kasse Peromia, former Thai diplomat and a board member for the ASEAN Parliamentarians for Human Rights. Thailand announced its plans to host a regional consultation to discuss Myanmar's crisis in December. Myanmar's permanent representative to the UN, Jao Mo Tun, will remain in his post for at least another year. This is following another deferral by the UN Credentials Committee, which has done the same each year since 2021. The regime wants to replace Ambassador Jao Mo Tun, who represents the NUG. Napida wants a UN ambassador who can help it gain legitimacy for the upcoming elections, tentatively scheduled for November 2025. We all need to oppose this Shen, Shen election to be organized by the military junta at this time. We, the people of Myanmar, are very resolute. We will definitely oppose the, this Shen election and take the end. So, you know, we appeal the international community uh, to do this, uh, the same. That was Myanmar's ambassador to the UN, Jao Mo Dun. Next up, DVB English news reporter Salman Thane on how record flooding in Chiang Mai, Thailand impacted the Myanmar community. The Myanmar migrant community in Chiang Mai, Thailand was impacted by record flooding on Autobah Fit. The Pin River reached a record 5.3 meters, inundating many parts of the city with water. Many migrant families were affected by the floods and reached out to Taeyong for assistance, instead of the Thai authorities. This situation is really, really bad for the uh, the community are here. I mean, most of the Burmese community, I must say, for those who are, you know, like a vulnerable group uh, from LGBT community, whatever, and undocumented, you know, or undocumented, com like a people who live here, like illegally, because they are hesitant to reach, for, reach out for help to the rescue team, because they are afraid that if these organizations came to like either rescue them or help them, that will involve the Thai police. The 22-year-old Tia founded his school Sisman School. It has become a refuge for Myanmar families who sent their kids to land at Dana Migrant Education Center. Since the flooding, they now rely on their school for their busy needs. This is our little student. Uh, okay. The humanitarian aid group Free Burma Rangers responded to Tia's calls for assistance. A food distribution for Myanmar migrant families affected by the Chiang Mai floods took place on October 8. Enough food was handed out to feed 400 people. 
at Dana Migrant Education Center in Chiang Mai. I'm Somin Ting for DVB English News. To watch Somin Ting's full news report, go to DVB English News YouTube. And that's it for this week's briefing. I'm Joe. The weekly briefing podcast is available every Friday. Listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube Music, or Audible. DVB English News is available wherever you get your podcasts. And subscribe to our daily briefing newsletter for the latest on what's happening in Myanmar. Find it on our website english.dvb.no. DVB English News is on X, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and TikTok. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for listening.